Well, we're going to do a quick step potential test experimental. Got the wasp sapper here, limited currents. There's a so called tree branch here, electrode, earth electrode there. Um, power will flow from there to there. A little induction or shaded pole motor. Got some LED lights and a couple of garden LEDs. Um, not sure if it works, but we'll check it. We're going to plug it in shortly. Energize device. The LEDs are glowing, the motor picks up, so we have and the LEDs are glowing on the foam board. Fantastic. I'm not sure how well it's going to pick it up on the thing of the of the energize quickly. The energize device. Energize device. See the green LEDs are glowing. White LEDs are glowing. Motor is spinning. And the tree is slowly starting to catch fire. This is actually quite cool because it's on a restricted capacity from the auto zap, the wasp zapper. The energized device unplugs safety. We've got a linear burn going on here at the moment. That looks really cool. Oh, the energizer because I'm going to burn my clip. I'll burn my alligator, so I've got a new one for that, so that's not a problem. Let's remove some of the other items. The energizer. Unplug. Essential to have the plug out of the device, out of the source. Alright, new electrode applied and we're going to energize shortly and see how it's going on. So he's catching fire straight away. The energized device. Raining. I've relocated the electrode to here. In theory this shouldn't be glowing unless there's a bit of leakage to the outside. So we're going to see what happens. One more from this angle, so I've got my so-called tree here, these LEDs are more or less off, power flows to the earth. These other few lights will be glowing. Now we're going to energize the device and see what happens. And the tree will slowly catch fire. That looks bloody cool. The LEDs are actually pretty bright. So I'm doing a retake because the LEDs weren't as bright on the video, I put red LEDs in too. So that is my so-called tree sitting on the ground. On the right hand side is the earth pin. And uh, we create some step potential in the soil and see what happens. So I'm going to energize the device shortly. Energize the device. De-energize the device. So that was reasonably visible. Re-energization again. That's not too bad. Now I'm going to unplug again, unplug safety first, of course the plug is out. I'm going to relocate the electrode. So, okay, we hit a tree, getting warm already, a bit closer to the earth pin here. So the LEDs here should be more or less almost off and the LEDs there should be on. So I'm going to energize, plug in again the device, activate device. And you can see very clearly there's a flow on the right hand side and nothing on the left hand side. It's actually quite cool. Looks actually pretty good. I'll shift the electrode a bit more over. It's probably warm now, so I'll burn my hands. Ooh. I'm going to energize again. Yeah, that comes up pretty good. So you can see there's a little bit of leakage to the left here. There's an orange one glow. There's a couple of orange ones and the red ones as well. De energize device. I'll put the electro back where it was in the beginning. I'll do the one take. Ooh, hot. Goes hot pretty quick. And we energize it again. The daytime wasn't as good to do this, but it looks uh, actually pretty good now. LEDs are pretty bright in some areas. Really cool. So this is at uh, 4400 volts. Nothing too hokey pokey, but uh, yeah. Now LEDs are subjected to AC, so I don't think they like it that well. Cool, we're going to de-energize here. Oh, watch the tree go fire. Let's have a little bit of sparkage there on the right. Looks cool. Oh, the smoke looks good too. Actually, the colored smoke, if I put it here. It's a colored smoke.
Okay, Diana Jastiva, I'm plucked safety first. 